602. Thanks to everybody for being here. Rick, we're starting. Um, we have a pretty short agenda. Does anybody have any revisions to the agenda? I have a piece I need to talk to you about the calendar. There's right. been a technical error since oh. that I handed that the board approved last night, and luckily to Lindy, I want to thank her for. Uh, we were talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the vacation we, were, we couldn't figure it out. Uh, so yeah. I would su I would suggest okay. that we add. I was the same. I was like, okay. I'm going to suggest that we add calendar as 2.1, and then we <coughs> can do the superintendent transition second, <laughs> so we can get the calendar out of the way. Um, there's no other revisions. Are there any public comments and correspondence since yesterday? <laughs> no. For executive committee comments, I just wanted to welcome Mary Lynn. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday, and I don't want to assume that you know everybody here. I don't. Uh, no, I you don't. So <laughs> maybe it would be useful to actually go around know. and do some of <laughs> I hope so. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll start. I'm, I'm Matthew DeGroote. I serve on the, the Worcester Doty School Board. Um, and I've been the chair of the SU board for the last year. Hi, I'm Gareth Frasier, I'm on the Berlin School Board. I'm Dorothy Nell, I'm the Cowboy School Board. Hey. I'm Kari Riley from U32, I'm the Dean's Club. David Delcourt from the Top Stories. I'm Juro from Orca. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Lisa, I'm the Board Recording Secretary. And Flora. And Okay. Marilyn, I apologize. I don't know your last name. Oh, so. it's Strachan. Strachan. Okay, great. Thanks. Well, mm -hmm. welcome. welcome to the executive committee. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll look at the calendar. So, um, I need to apologize. Um, this is totally my responsibility. I'm not saying that to say if someone else, I actually have been the one doing the calendar this year. Um, and there was a first version of this of the Central Vermont Career Center calendar that had the April vacation on the week of April 13th. And after a meeting around the 10th or 11th of November that I was partly there, partly not, it moved to the week of April 20th. And in the version that was approved last night by the SU, that change had not been made. Without having that, we would have kids who need to get to the tech center without there. So I'm looking, usually some years we haven't even gotten to the SU board for a pool of the counter. It's been done by the executive committee. Um, I was saying earlier to Matthew today that we have parents that are pressing us for next year's calendar. So to get back to the SU would be a little hard. But I wanted to seek your advice and where to go with this. Um, the major that's the biggest yeah. thing, and I just would like to get it fixed right now. I, I just, think just, just to get it fixed. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't think there's going to be any pressure on that. Yeah, I've got copies can right here. It. Yeah. Can I ask though when the next time, I don't even know when the next time the SU board might be? Is June right now on the calendar that we have. Right. So if you want, here are the two. There's the tech center. Here's the. I, mean, I understand the. <laughs> it'll be the same week of the year, basically. As, it's, as yeah. Year. Well, the problem is May is split in half, so it's it'll be the third full week of the month. Thank you. Is that what it is this year? It's the this year is the third full oh, week because April because oh, sorry, April, sorry, starts yeah. April starts on a Monday. Yeah. April starts on a Monday, so you'll see the the one that you have that's printed out with ours is the one I handed out last night in the color copy. Is the tech center, and you'll so see how it's no done. Good. This control. is no good. Don't don't use yeah, that. That's what I did last down. night. But yeah. we would okay. get that out, and I would put a letter out to the board, yeah. telling them there. Yeah. Yeah. Lindsay and I were talking about it, and she said, "Well, ours is different because we we follow the tech center." And I said, "No, we follow the tech center too." So it's like. I'm going to go talk to Bill. <laughs> she didn't, but she went and talked to John. John called me. Oh, she emailed John while we were there. That's at what happened. Okay. And John, John, got, John and I were in the same meeting this morning at 8 o'clock. So he's like, Bill, you have a problem. <laughs> like, okay, I'll take care of it. So, so I don't think we can like override. I mean, I, I don't, no. the SC board would not care, care. about this. But yeah. They, they, just want to they can't make it, they can't make the change without busing the kids. 
No, of course. No, yeah. I'm just saying, like, this would probably be passed in, like, 30 seconds, like, if yeah. the SU board could meet, but the SU board's not going to meet. So, I don't know what the executive committee, should we just, like, have a motion to note the amendment to the calendar, like, Absolutely. until the SU board can meet again or something like that? I mean, or do you need something more definitive than that? Or? No, I think just to note that you approve that there was a technical change, you know, I think a motion just to approve an amended calendar for what was at the SU, and then in the notes, hopefully Lisa's reflecting what I said, which was, I made a mistake here, I wish I caught it, um, I didn't catch it, and we're, we're getting it fixed because we need to be in alignment for 175 days and to support those kids for a week not to have busing. There are, about half the kids go to Tech Center use our busing services to get there. So would someone? I'm happy to make that motion. Mm -hmm. I'll second it. Can someone tell me what the motion is? That we <laughs> approve the change in the calendar to align with the Technical Career Center our yeah, Awesome. Thanks. Uh, is there any further discussion on the motion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The ayes have it. Thanks. So we'll go to um, the discussion on the superintendent transition. So I have a suggestion for how we might try to organize the conversation, but you know I'm open to ideas that, that people may have. Um, I have a list of questions that I feel like, or you can call them, I guess, topics that I think we need to get into at some point or address. And then maybe other people have other ones that I have not thought of or have missed. Um, so I thought maybe we could, you know, just name these questions or topics and then um, see if people have other ones. And then we can figure out sort of like what order maybe we need to take them in. Is that? Do you want me to write them up on the wall or something for you, Matthew? Um, Would that be helpful? If you don't mind. Yes. Yes. Yep. Uh, Unfortunately, I have probably 10 of them. <laughs> so I apologize in advance for that. That's all right. You have to deal with my spot uh, in writing. Um, <laughs> the, uh, okay, so these are in no particular order. Um, so, so far, the sort of preliminary consensus has been that an interim superintendent is a good idea. So do we want to confirm that? Is that our intent is to go out to search for an interim superintendent? That's one. Another is that the, um, the Agency of Education and State Board rules state uh, that they, their permission to proceed is required. Um, so can we proceed without their permission? Um, we can disagree or contest their rules, um, but it probably requires a court action to contest it. Um, and I did speak to Scott Cameron and one of our attorneys yesterday. We, that was basically his advice, was that if we wanted to contest that, we, we would require a lawsuit. Um, do we want to hire a consultant slash facilitator? Again, that seems like the consensus. Um, there are four, four people or organizations that I have identified already. Um, we can have a conversation about that. Oh, there you um, go. How do we engage the leadership team and the rest of the W at CSU uh, staff? Um, there, do you want to? Okay. okay, I'm just listing, so if you come to anything yeah, else yeah. to add in there, or anyone else has anything else to add in there. Um, there is a contract issue we have to address. Uh, we should probably do that in an executive session. Um, but at some point we have to do that as well. Um, then uh, Charlie put on the table last night the question of, you know, this sort of broader philosophical question of whether we want a superintendent, um, which is a topic that we have to take up at some point. 
either we or the SD board as a whole, or both. How do we communicate back out to the SU board and to the staff what we're doing? And will the SU board have to meet again before June to ratify something we, we do or approve something we want to do or you know, something along those lines? So I guess those are the basic ones that I I probably have an order I put them in, but we can talk about sort of what's appropriate to, to take up. So. May I, I'm just going to put it up here for you because I would have wrote community on here. Mm -hmm. Not just yeah. 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 Well, yeah. well yeah. the students. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, the Stakeholders. Yeah. yeah. Taxpayers. Mm -hmm. Well, that's your That's the Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> And that, I would include that on the communication too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I, to this, I would add: what, what do we need a contingency plan if we're not able to hire an interim or anybody for June, July first, or if that person can't start on July first? Any other topics or questions? Has the letter been drafted yet? I sent it this morning. Yeah, this I, can, morning. I can read it if people want to. No, I was just. Yeah, yeah. I, to I did send it to the. And do we know well. typically what the turnaround time is for? They're supposed to. They, according to their own rule, they have to reply within two weeks. Yeah, they have two weeks. And the secretary, I saw. I was with the secretary today and meeting these needs to be received. So, so if we wait the two weeks, we're sitting. That's doing nothing. It, or is there? Well, I mean, I think that we, we could probably do, we could, we, I think we could look for and hire, or, or I guess I should say we could look for and try to decide on a consultant or facilitator, but I don't think we would want to start paying that person for no, and I think We no. can't post a position until, yeah. Sorry. Scott, give you an opinion on the, on the posting of the position. No, no, I didn't get into that level of detail. So no, I wanted to say I've seen it both ways. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Have you posted those just to anticipate it? Or just posted and waiting for the letter. And then yeah. You're, you want to get data. I'm just saying, I've seen it both ways. No, no, I, I should say, just so everyone is aware, that I did not ask the secretary for permission in my letter. I just told him that we were having a vacancy and that the SU board had decided to initiate a search, and our preliminary thinking was this, but that might change, and that's all I said. Mm -hmm. So I didn't sort of. Tell them we're waiting for them to respond. But. Right. Another question is Are there things we can do to prepare ourselves prior to the hiring of the consultant? Thinking that we know less, sure, than we, um, there's more that we don't know than we do know. Yes. But we could start looking at the job description, for example. Yeah. We could think about budget. I think that we have to divide it in two. We first have to decide, and I think we decided that we're doing an interim superintendent. And the, the steps for an interim superintendent are a little different than if we start right, right away with the search. What we'd be asking the consultant to do. So well, let me just ask, since you brought it up, and I, I agree with you, I think that's one of the first questions yeah. we probably have to do. So does anybody on the committee want to um, speak against the idea of going out to look for an interim superintendent or want to speak in favor of something else, some other. No. So our consensus basically is yeah. that's where we're, where we're heading. Yeah. Okay. There's one thing taken care of. There's one thing taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm trying to help you with. I figured at least I could take notes for you guys. And then, is there anybody that uh, is against the idea of trying to identify a, a consultant or facilitator who can help us with this process? Yeah, that's a good idea. I think we're crazy. Okay. Yeah, I agree. 
that. Keeps so. it the real objective and on track. I mean, if that. Okay. So. But was that person? <coughs> that, that, that person can also help us with um, communicating and mm -hmm. a lot right. of a lot yes. of stuff. Give us some advice. Right. That, so. But Dorothy, you're right on point. That's what I've seen them throughout my career. Mm -hmm. They can help be the point person for communications, mm -hmm. and they can be the help to be the point person of engaging and gathering. If you want them to, you get into more cost, but that's what they can do. So, if we can stay with that one for a second, let me just list the people that I have identified already. Um, so, the last time that we did a search, uh, when we uh, recruited Bill, we worked through uh, NESDEC, which I forget what it's like the New England. The, the New Staff yeah. Development Council. Okay. Thanks. What are the initials? Uh, it's N-E-S-D-E-C, and they do have a fairly extensive website. And uh, so I contacted them already one day, I think, or something, and they got back to me yesterday and then sent me a document, which I will send around to the committee, but it basically lists like four different levels of service that they provide and a sort of um, ballpark cost for each level. Um, I would say that, um, they seem like they're on the pricier side of the options. Maybe the priciest mm -hmm. of the ones that I have seen, but that's one one option. Um, a second, it, and Dorothy and I met with this uh, gentleman yesterday morning. Uh, his name is Mark Andrews. Uh, he was a superintendent in Orleans uh, South, Southwest, Southwest, Southwest thank you. for yeah. six years, and then also in Chittenden Central for seven years. And uh, is now retired and has been involved in a lot of searches uh, and he helped uh, Orleans Southwest with uh, their recently concluded search. That was the first one that he has done professionally as um, that type of consultant. Uh, and, you know, he, he gave us a ballpark figure for um, what, what he might charge, you know, um, which is maybe half as much as VSBA and maybe a third is as much as NESDAQ. Uh, the Vermont School Board Association's main person is a guy by the name of Bob Stevens, uh, who I have not yet contacted or been in touch with. Um, and then there's a guy by the name of Peter Clark, who I guess, um, who was referred by a woman named Val Gardner, who is, uh, runs a kind of education consulting Val is the head of the Snelling Center for Education, as Dorothy mm -hmm. mentioned last night. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to, that's why I put you on to that. Val works with it. So was Peter Clark connected to that, or I didn't get No, I reached out to Val to ask if she oh, did, okay. did this so kind of work. you reached out to Snelling, and she, or Snelling Institute and Val, and then she gave you the name of Peter Clark. I reached out to Val. I didn't know she was with the Snelling Institute. I didn't tell you that. I, oh, I didn't tell you that. <laughs> that's okay. I'm just, I just but, uh, but she said she doesn't do that kind of work, but she recommended this guy, Peter Clark, and she said that uh, someone from the Vermont Principals Association would have his contact information, but I haven't, yeah. I haven't gone out to, to get it yet. And if you want it, I can get it for you, because I think I might even have Peter's information, but if not, I get it from Jay. So those are the so, four yeah, that I have identified. I yeah, I have a very, very crazy question. And I don't know if you got a sense from talking to Mark. I know that the work that he's doing now is kind of huge. Wouldn't be interested in being an interim superintendent. What? What did you, I didn't hear you? Would Mark Andrews be interested in being an interim superintendent? We didn't ask him. We didn't ask him. I, from the way he described what he does or how much, I got the idea that he would entertain that. I didn't bring it up because we'd invited him to ask him questions about being a consultant to the process. And I didn't want to talk to him like he was a candidate for the position while I was talking. I, I didn't know you were talking to him, so, but yeah. that would be. Not that I was saying that we had an opening, even for <laughs> consultancy, but it was just that was what we were. Well, well I think we kind of told him we didn't even know if we wanted a consultant. I mean, we needed yeah. we needed to kind of talk to him to find out what they do and how they can help us. It was really exploratory in many ways. I mean, I'm happy to add his name to the list. I I thought he was a great. Guy, I mean, just really, I was really impressed by him. I don't know how you felt, but because yeah. you know, my thinking is that if 
somebody like that, there's a couple others, but I couldn't think of a better name, yeah. that would be willing to be the interim superintendent, then we can hire that consultant, you know, with their help too. And, you know, not to... Well, here's another sort of question that I have. It's sort of, <laughs> and it might be a cart horse thing, mm -hmm. you know, like, um, it seems to me like we have to be transparent yeah. in how we go out to like you know look for candidates, right? Um, but you know it's been suggested in just the conversations I've had that we you know we might contact the president of the Vermont Superintendents Association, who might know anybody who is mm -hmm. retired and is willing to do a one-year commitment or is looking for that kind of thing specifically for some reason or. Um, or maybe we could just talk to Mark, but you know that's not very transparent to just start picking names and start calling people and asking them if they're willing to do it. You know what I mean? So well, it seems like we need to have some kind of process. That's um, I you know. kind of envisioned that the opening would be posted <coughs> somewhere. Yeah, I mean there are places to post. It. There's you see it on television all the time. Whatever you know. It's, I mean, Monster.com. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's also going to help with the recruitment part of it, right? Like, where do you post? That's right. Where who do you, you talk to? And, and well, but, you know, yeah. Yeah. Let me say this: that having gone through it, um, you want a consultant to have the quiet conversations when people are asking. They look at these positions; they're going to want to ask some questions mm -hmm. before they think about the position. Mm -hmm. And the consultant's a good way of having that one point person to do that they may a lot of time and I've had this happen to myself uh, when I ask questions I don't know but I'll go talk to the board contact about that and if the board needs to make a decision mm -hmm. so in trying to determine if you want to apply oh right I see because there's some there's sometimes that just needs it's better than initially talking to a board member yes and so let me ask for the consultancy itself not for the position but for the consultant um, are we on safe ground if we identify a short list of people that we you want to invite to? As long as you're below 15,000, you could do it. Mm -hmm. You could do it whenever you want. Okay. It's when you go over 15 that you get into a, it's an RFP situation. Mm -hmm. And normally, because I know NASDAQ rather well, NASDAQ, they get into places. They're, they <laughs> primarily service southern New England, and they primarily get into searches that are pricey because that's what those districts are going for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's their bread and butter. Yeah, I, I wasn't the driving force behind the last time we went through it, so I have no yeah. idea what yeah. we paid or even why that decision was made, or I, I just don't remember anything about that. But yeah, I, didn't sort of remember that. I didn't even remember that Brian came through. That's that yeah. yeah. So, Brian, right, yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, look, I'm happy to reach out, have conversations with people. I'm also happy if other people want to do that, or if somebody wants to join me doing it, or whatever. I don't um, have a huge preference on that one. So. Yeah, and I'm not trying to jump the process either. I, I think we need to post that, but in Vermont is so small, and you know, in the past there were a few people that made a career out of uh, being interim superintendents, but most of them are, you know, like really retired. Mm -hmm. And so I don't, you know, I'm spending a long time with people that was like just, that was sort of the generation that I knew. Yeah. You know, like people that have been mentors for the years. Sure. So, so you know, what, what I understand is that we can't really wait very long to find a good interim. And I didn't know that Mark Andrews was the person I had talked to. I haven't talked to him. Just mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know him well. He's just, I couldn't tell you. I, I he's, just, <clears throat> he's just like highly <clears throat> appreciated by a lot of different <laughs> yeah, people. All I can tell you is so, that he made a great impression on me, but I didn't broach the topic with him yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah. so we're we only so we yeah. yeah. so focused on consultants right now. So, in, <laughs> in the interest of going as quickly as we can, um, I'd say let's, let's think about the criteria for a consultant and then whoever wants to work. With Matthew on interviewing these people, we can maybe narrow down can, this list pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. can, can I go back to when you spoke to Val Gardner? Yeah. 
Now she was only comfortable giving you one name, or might there be others? I just sent her an email, and she responded by email. I just okay. said I don't I don't do this work, uh, but here's uh, here's a person you might want to talk to. That's all she said. Yeah, so, so you sent it to her as as her, not at, to the Snelling. That's right. Yes. So maybe we need to approach the Snelling yep. and just. And, Institute to see what they have to offer. I will add them to the list, yeah, for sure. Okay. I mean, I'd like to choose from three or four at least. Sure, me too. Myself. So, criteria. Criteria. Yeah. <laughs> um, Go ahead. Experience. Experience. <laughs> Experience. 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 Experience as a superintendent? No, no, no. As a, as a leading as a search process. Okay, okay. Experience leading a search process. Yeah. Leadership Definitely. search. Definitely. And then specifically for interim. That's something I'm curious about. Because I assume that's somewhat different. Okay. Okay. So many I'm trying to do a thing like going back well, to. Right. I'm going to say. Uh, um, Good political slash communication yeah, skills. Yeah, but Seems like a re prerequisite for this. Yeah. Uh, well, no. Do yeah. we ask for references? Yeah. In this yeah. yeah. We'll get all that. Stuff yeah. yeah. Okay. Are, we, are we looking for somebody close? I, I'm thinking of mileage and time. Do we the need? Cost, I guess. Uh, that cost, would be part cost, of the cost. And yes. availability yeah. to, to get right on yeah. this. Yeah. Right. Availability yesterday. Can I ask a clarifying question? Are we talking about a consultant just to help us with the interim principal search, or are we talking Too about bad. a consult? I'm sorry. Yes, I'm. I'm currently searching for a principal, oh. and I've been in this room for three days. Sorry, um, superintendent. Or are we looking at a consultant to kind of look at the entire process of what we need to do? I think what I would the way I would want to answer that is is keying off of some things that Mark said in our meeting, which I thought were pretty um, they were pretty illuminating for me, you know, which is that you know what he said about it was the the board really has some work to do to discuss and kind of hammer out what its collective vision is. For the school system, because when you hire, you know, an, an, an executive, a chief executive, what you want to do is hire someone who's in line with your vision yep. and mm -hmm. who is capable of executing it. And um, you know, when it was when he said that that I think that you know we started thinking that interim actually probably makes a lot of sense because we're in such a state of flux right now, just organizationally, operationally. And the law and everything, um, and, you know, and I think our boards are just to mm -hmm. to be, you know, candid about it are um, not unified, mm -hmm. you know, or sort of not in a in a place of unity about vision. Um, so there's some work to do there, you know, and it could take a, you know a few months minimum for us to try to have those conversations and come to a point where. Um, so my, the reason of, of responding to your question that way is that um, I'm not sure if somebody who we would hire to help us find an interim superintendent would also be qualified or prepared um, or the best person you know to lead us through that process into it and then into a future superintendent search I just I don't know yeah. I don't know well, the, the thing that I got from him very strongly was you can't expect this interim superintendent to mend your fractures. Right. right. That's kind of that's the, my point of yeah. asking that. And, that, so that and the other thing we have to keep in mind that while we individual boards may interview the person or go through all this, the board they actually end up working with may be totally different. And and they're gonna be wondering about that as well as we. Right. Um, and so that's another part of it, and how that fits in, I don't know. I, mean, I agree with Doc, too. I don't think, I mean, I actually don't see the fractures that great. And, and we've got some issues, you know, we've, we're, handling a, we're handling a very bad 
deal that has caused some definite differences of opinion. But these boards work together, and they have worked together for a long time, and they'll continue to do it. I, I don't see that as a huge thing, and I also don't think that that would be his job to address it all. It's really no, getting no, us through. I mean, we'll do that. We do that internally. That's our job, and, and we'll do that. I have no doubt about that. But uh, I'm just addressing Mary Lynn's question. Yeah, about the same, we're looking for a same person to kind of. Well, no, I don't think I was necessarily <laughs> asking that. I guess I'm just. I feel like this is a two-step process, yes. and so an an interim superintendent is, in my mind, is someone to come in and just help us to just continue, continue the work that we're doing here mm -hmm. at yes. Central yes. Office, and, and then there's this greater part of it, which. I do think is the bigger part of it. And so my criteria for thinking about a consultant to help with an interim mm. is a little bit shorter than right. what a consultant to move us forward in the overall bigger picture of us becoming unified in, in that word in multiple ways is different. So that, that's why I'm asking that and just, for me, I was thinking, consultant for the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much um, I'm not sure how much work a consultant to help us find an interim. I, I don't know how much they need to do, but also I've I have only done this with a principal in a very tiny school a couple times now and that was a pretty quick process to find. Yeah, I think it should be short term. I mean, if we're looking for somebody by July mm -hmm. 1st, then it, we've got a couple of months to to yeah. do it, you know, basically. So. Okay. So in in the criteria for that person should be somebody that is, you know, for, that can be that is familiar with our system. Familiar with our system. Yeah, that can understand our system. Yeah, I, I, I don't necessarily agree. I think yeah. that um, we need someone who can move quickly, find us a competent right mm -hmm. interim superintendent to get us through this transitional period, and then. Next year, with a new board, we're going to undertake this sort of much bigger process right. that will that's my point. You know, we'll look at values and yeah, no, but that is familiar. Direction. What I mean by familiar with our system is familiar with you know Vermont and where we are right now. As you know, like what we've been doing with mm -hmm. the, you know where we are in clubs yeah. with this all this Act Forty Six with all this like you know we do have our student learning outcomes and we do have you know. I don't know, that is another with education, I guess, or something like like that is really crucial right now for that interim because it's gonna be so quick. I think they're gonna have so. to be able to box us. You know, we are we're in this period of, of we don't know, we don't know where we are, right? And, but we, we know we have this core of education where we're trying to maintain. We wanna keep the good, right, in this process. So we wanna have somebody who can kind of get their hands wrapped around that. They don't have to solve all the problems for us but it, we want to protect what we've got and grow it if we can, you know, but help, but it, it stabilize, you know, keep that stable so we don't disintegrate or we don't... Put the bumpers in our bowling, in yeah. our ruts that we have created so we get in a groove instead of all these ruts that we have put ourselves. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say, I mean, I think, I think, you know, there's debate going on, but <clears throat> you have that in certain areas, you know, you still have this core of education that's happening out there. Yeah. So we have to preserve that. We have to make sure that's happening. And we have to make sure that we, we don't unwind that. We've, and that's, you know, so we want somebody with a good, solid idea that's going to be able to come in here, I think, and quickly identify what is, you know, what's working really well in here mm -hmm. and, and maintain that. And so I, I, I think we have to be careful about scope creep on the, on the you know, this is an interim. And to me, I that's what would be really important about this. Is but I think, a, consul I think a consultant could also help us, like, figure out what an appropriate scope for an interim. Mm -hmm. well, that's what I mean, yeah, so okay, I'm talking about I was also that. talking about that. Yeah. 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 That it's yeah. a different, you know, it's just a different set of, you know. Yeah. Well, I was spinning <laughs> into the superintendent, but that's right, that's the thing. That we want to help that, have that person that will be able to guide us to define those things. So, I, I, so almost, the, I almost see it as to, you know, I participate in some searches. You know, I, I almost see that, I don't think that as executive committee, we are, we are we're all kind of might have the same vision. We're not completely qualified to 
it set this criteria. I think this criteria needs to be a little bit broader. And what we would be qualified is to, 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 to create a, a committee for the search of the interim that includes people from different, uh, so some people from the, like we've done when we've gone to the superintendent search, mm -hmm. and, and, and have those people create, you know, quickly the, because then we would have a broader perspective. We, we all are involved up here and they're involved here and they could have something to say about I, I just want to clarify and I'm I'm sorry if I'm interrupting you can yeah. I'll, I'll give it no, 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 back no. to you. I'm I'm we're thinking out loud. We're talking about the criteria for the consultant so you know, yes. not for the interim superintendent. But I think so for the for particularly for this consultant it's gonna be important because it's gonna affect quickly everything that is going on uh -huh. on the on, on the school. I think we are, you know, qualified to have, a, you know, we can find somebody that is really, really nice, but I think we, we gain more from starting that, uh, that community sooner rather than later that has a say on who, especially if that consultant will stay on for the larger uh, I think we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of confused about it. Like, I see that we're hiring a person to do one very specific thing, which is to help us hire an interim superintendent. Okay. Like, to me, yeah. that's what I feel like I, we're, we're talking about. So anything that's broader than that, I would, I would feel some discomfort with. Yeah. I, I, I'm thinking the consultant would guide us on how to develop the search committee that is other than the executive board. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think the process. Are, uh, I would, yeah, really, we need to really really yeah, focus right. on getting the consultant and getting the timeline for that and once that's done then the consultant will give us some advice and we'll know which way to go and, and how to do it so would it be i mean we want to try to do that as quickly as possible <coughs> mm -hmm. so you know does the committee want to ask some of its members to reach out to as many people and have as many conversations as possible and get information from as many people as possible? Um, is, it, is a week enough time? Like, are we, are we willing and able to meet in a, in a week? Yeah. Um, yeah. Talk again? Yeah. yeah. Week, from, week from tonight? Mm hmm and we can set the day, but I'm just saying, like, we want to do it as soon as possible. Yeah, right? yeah, you don't yeah. lose time on this one. So, what do you have written down right now thing. for criteria? I have uh, experience in leadership searches, particularly for interim, possibly. Mm -hmm. um, good political slash communication skills, uh, cost and availability, and knowledge of Vermont and Act 46. That's Sounds that. good. Okay. And I have five possibilities to, you know, talk to, consider, put together at least. Yeah. So. Do you, do you want help? I want help. <laughs> I will, I'll volunteer to do something. If okay. I, I'm free all day, so I can... Do you want to... I'm happy to do the outreach, and I'll copy you on all of it, and we can try to have the conversations together if we manage to have conversations. Is that... Yeah, if you... Um, just tell me what to do, and I'll do it. No. Okay. Well, you're going to be sorry about saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to work on that within this week. Is it possible to have um, to meet a consultant next whatever night we meet Thursday? Uh, it depends on whether the committee wants to charge people with making a decision or just bringing candidates back. Mm -hmm. That's the question. Because we can bring we can bring three or four candidates on paper. from having talked to them. Uh, to do that. But to speed things up, how about if we charge you with bringing us one or two phone lists? Mm -hmm. like it. It's going to depend probably on people's probably of their availability. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, we could try. Right. We, could do call, we could do calls. You know, if people are yeah. willing to do that. Yeah. 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 Time is up. We just give you the authority so you've got, the, if, if it can be made to work out, then... Time, time is our most limited mm -hmm. resource at point. Yeah, we're in April next. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'd love to ask for a motion or something about this to charge whoever 
with identifying uh, two finalists for position of consultant to assist with uh, an interim superintendent search. So I'll make that motion for Matthew Curry and Joe. Well, I don't think I was volunteering. Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy. Yeah, to, I, yes, I, will, I wanted help. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's volunteering. Yes, you can. <laughs> I think we can probably end it, I'm guessing. Yeah, right? between the two. I think so, yeah. So. Okay, so I'll amend my motion to, to Matthew. I mean, my guess yeah. is what, I, what we need to do is, you and I need to do, is find some people who are consultants and then figure out how to connect with Yeah, them. exactly. Is there is there a second? I second. You second it? Okay, thanks. Is there further discussion of this topic? So all those in favor of the motion please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Was there a time you didn't really specify oh. that this is gonna happen by next Thursday, did you? I, we didn't say that in the motion, but we will do it by next Thursday. Yeah. I guess one question we should address is whether everyone's available to meet next Thursday. We'll make a... Bill, are you available? I, uh, we don't... I think so. I mean, I just don't want to assume that you know, your time is infinitely available. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And we, we don't know about the room until... So. Uh, I'll check it right now. I'm pretty sure that th this time of night it's usually not booked. But I can get on the calendar and check. We can do it at six, I think. Yeah, it's, I don't it's know hard if this for you would to be get back, here. but um, yeah, 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 it would yeah. be six is the earliest, right? The earliest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll do it at six. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think the whole rules thing, we'll just not worry about that for now, and we'll see what happens by next week. Hopefully we'll hear from them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I assume they don't want to drag it out, I guess, but it's open. Rooms open. I'll reserve it right now. Right. Uh, I assume that we want the consultant probably to advise us about engaging the WCSU yeah. staff and communities. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we can park that for the moment. Um, and I assume that we probably will need more SU board meetings that are currently on the calendar, but that at the moment we have no idea when those might be. Yeah. Um, contingency plan? I don't know where to start. What's, what's your thinking on that? Well, we should have done this a long time ago. As soon as I, <laughs> Succession planning. As soon as I realized that uh, Bill was searching, I was like, oh, we don't really, have, that I'm aware of, yeah. have a backup plan. Right. And that, if, you know, if Bill were to drop dead, what would we do? You know, get hit by the bus. So yeah, yeah. A, a lot of boards require a plan to be in place. And so we're way behind them. I mean, you have to think, think just in, in terms of well, what are our options if we don't have someone in place by, by July, right? So as I said, you, as I said to you last couple weeks ago, we had this discussion. We have two superintendent, two people that are licensed for superintendent mm -hmm. that are in the issue, and that's Kelly and Jen. Right, and I thought you said that they are not interested in doing board work, but... They're just mm -hmm. doing everything but board work. Yeah. You're willing to do is. I just want to make sure that it's okay for us to discuss this in open session, like as since we're naming names. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, so they, they, I've also said to them that they, you might want to talk with them, and they were fine with that. They actually asked if they need to be here tonight, and I said I no. wasn't given any instructions that they needed to be, but they could. If they wanted to. So, in other words, what you're saying is that we might be in in still in search mode but not actually have a superintendent for the 1st of July, whenever it is. No, I'm not July. saying that. What and I'm then, saying... Can they <laughs> step in 
Is that, I guess what I'm asking, yeah. can they just step in on that day if we're sort of still finalizing getting an intro superintendent? So I believe... And is that a plan B? I, I believe that the law states you have to have a superintendent. I know that was some discussion last night. That's my belief from reading the statutes. <coughs> and that... Um, that they have the endorsement to be able to do to be a superintendent okay because i asked them to have that because although we didn't have a policy about succession planning i've worked in other districts where it is and i believe i needed that because just for exactly what kari said if yeah. there were some reason i was incapacitated i wanted to know we had an endorsed superintendent to take over and every time that i leave like i was out monday tuesday i was down and jen and i were down with 10 other colleagues from U32 at a conference. Okay. Kelly was, I always want one of the three of us on site with the license. Okay, so Because that, there are some times you think you have to do that day that could happen <clears throat> that require a superintendent's license. You know, I'd be on the phone. I want someone here with it. Yeah. So our contingency plan could be for somebody to have that conversation yeah. with them and know that we could have somebody to support it, like have somebody that supports the board work for them, so come to an agreement with the, with them uh, if it came to to that. Um, and then that means that we would have to have somebody that would help them with the board work. I think you yeah. should talk with them. Yeah. I think we yeah, should I talk with them. I think you should talk with them first. So, I would offer to have conversations with each of them and just kind of feel out where they are with this question, if, if, uh, if they'd be willing and under what terms they'd be willing to, to be in charge on an inter interim basis. Okay. Because I, 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 I would feel bad to have two candidates, one that couldn't start for some reason until, you know, August 15th, and that was a better candidate, mm -hmm. but we felt. Right. And, but have to take somebody else because we didn't have the plan B. So I'm you happy will, to help you. Yeah. Do the two of you want to do that? You can coordinate on that. Yeah. You? Okay. Be before the next Thursday, pressure, sure. I guess. Mm -hmm. Soon. Anytime. Take oh, a phone call. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't I? Um, well, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. So, is there anything that? people want us to ask specifically? I think I trust you both to mm -hmm. figure out what the right questions are, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Personally. And that can look like a lot of things. It can be collaborative work. It can be, you know, I mean, it's, it's basically covering the leadership, right? So, for a period of time. So, if they're familiar with the duties, that, that can have a lot of different right. shapes. Yeah, yeah. One person doesn't have to carry that whole load. Well, especially the summer is kind of an unusual period. We're looking for something mm -hmm. that can be done for like a few weeks. Yeah. Sort of, mm -hmm. um, which may be different than what the role entails regularly day to day throughout the school year. Yeah, it's different. Um, The okay, so there's um, two other things. So one is the uh, contract issue. So um, without naming specifics, we, we would want to invite Lori yep. to join us. Yep. So maybe we'll invite her to join us next week. Okay. I did talk to her briefly last night and yeah. you know, say I didn't think there was any reason for her to be here tonight. Yeah, no, she asked me if I thought there were any reason earlier today. So the three things we would have for next week specifically are hopefully to speak with a couple of consultant candidates, um, possibly make a decision on one for that fortunate. Um, the second would be to hear back from Kari and Floor about their conversations, and then the third would be to ask Lori uh, to be here for that conversation. Mm -hmm. And possibly the, is the HR person also need to be here, or is it sufficient? For I think you'll be fine with Lori. Carla could be here, but I think okay. Carla should doesn't need to be here. And then the last question is, uh, and I don't know if this is a question, is this is a sort of conversation that we need to have before or during the hire of an interim superintendent. Um, 
but I, you know, I don't want to ignore um, Charlie's memo, which is sort of suggesting that in the long term, um, you know, maybe there are other options. I don't want to have that discussion now. But I'm just noting that you know it was raised, and at some point we're going to have to figure out a game plan for trying to you know, discuss that. So. It seemed like the board spoke last night. At least in terms of the short term, it said go, you know, go forth and find an interim one-year yeah. superintendent. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And, and even yeah. one of Charlie's suggestions, given he yeah. we might yeah. be interested in his other points, he thought one of them was to yeah. find an interim superintendent until we knew what we were doing. And and I I also think that you know the question that Charlie raised. Having one board member believe that we don't need a superintendent means that there, you know, we have to have a better understanding as a board of what the superintendent does. So it's a very educational moment for everybody. So we don't have to treat it specifically to just responding to him, but you know, we, we, we have to either, we've done this at different schools when there's a question about why do you have an assistant principal or, but, but I think that it should be some just, not continuing education, but you know, just let's talk about what the superintendent does, and that would help us with as we move on with the consultant in our vision and put us together. Because you know, yesterday's meeting was not necessarily a reflection of how you know any interim superintendent that came to yesterday's meeting was not necessarily one of our best meetings. You know what I mean? So. I think that I don't disagree that the, the board clearly sort of spoke with regard to hiring an interim superintendent for a year, you know, but I think that, you know, I heard more than just Charlie, more people than just Charlie saying that maybe it's a discussion we should have about what the longer term, you know, plan should be. And so even though I, I, I agree that I don't think that that's a conversation that has to happen like immediately or you know, even before we hire an interim, but, you know, I would say that if we, it's definitely a conversation we would need to have before we would go out to search for a longer term superintendent, which we would start to think about already October, November, December. So the clock is ticking, mm -hmm. you know, as we head into summer, <coughs> when the board typically doesn't meet at all anyway. Yeah. Um, so I'm just saying that at some point, you know, we're gonna have to come to grips with, you know, what it looks like to actually Maybe it's just putting on agenda, and we discuss it some, and we take a decision, and then we move on. You know, maybe it's that easy, but uh, but I just don't want to. Um. I think you think of it this way. You know, it, it, it warrants a look. It, you know, we're boxing ourselves in. We're becoming very, very sometimes almost overly rigid, and it's always worth stepping back and looking a little bit. You know, and I, I don't know if I would be supportive of something like that or not. I don't do it for them be difficult because the superintendent does a lot of work and that work has to be you know, spread across other people if you don't have a superintendent. That means there's got to be a lot of coordination it's, and, and so that could really go awry. You know, but that, it doesn't hurt for us to take a little time over this coming year. We're in the middle of a lot of flux. So we should, you know, I think it could be healthy to step back and take a really objective Look, but that doesn't really happen right now. I mean, we're in, you know, our, our job now is to really get, you know, have stability for that for that next year. You know, we should be looking at it in this year, but now we're working on getting to that point where we are still. Yeah, I guess I'm just sort of like coming to, and, and I'm fine with like parking it. I guess I just want to plant in the minds of the executive committee and the committee members you know, in a way, this, this question is a part of that larger question of what is our vision as a board for the school system. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're at a crossroads at the moment. You know, I think that um, mm -hmm. there's a lot I could say about it. You know, but I think we really are at a moment of, of choice um, as well as operational and sort of governance transition. Um, so it's a complicated thing, and it's a, um, I guess it's just something that I've, I'm sort of trying to grapple with mentally about like how do we have that conversation in a constructive and productive way that leads to actual resolution and that's it's not just going to happen by itself I guess so no. it's going to it's going to require some conversation about how we, how we do that. so 
for me, I guess I, I guess I'm thinking that it is an important conversation to have. I don't know how urgent it is. I mean, June, I, we're hoping to get some student learning data. Um, that seems urgent. But at some point, we, we do have to uh, hopefully reaffirm for ourselves. That's how I feel mm -hmm. that the, the superintendents need, needed. I'm trying to think of different ways we could frame the conversation. One is to have the job description or you know, so the essential functions. I remember early on in my tenure on the board, you gave us a paper on principals being the, the uh, building level leaders. Mm -hmm. And that was very uh, illuminating for me because um, it, by contrast, it, it meant the superintendents taking everything else off the, the principal's plate so they can focus on being the educational leader of this building. Uh, so that I understood the roles much better as a result of a, of a scholarly paper. And, yeah. um, and the other thing that I would say, to have a meaningful conversation about this, I kind of have to understand a little right. bit better what is meant by not having a superintendent, because right. to me it doesn't actually make much sense. It's sort of like chopping the head off the organization. Well, you know, if you don't have the CEO of your of your business, your organization, what do you have? What, how do things function? I, I don't get it. So, if there's a model out there, or someone could describe for me how that would actually work, and who the board would actually well, there actually are models. I mean, you look and see well, emergency yeah, I, management. You know, I family. really wanted to avoid yeah. ha actually having the conversation. I get it. Tonight, I get it. So I just because you know we'll, we could do that forever, um, but but yeah. There is a conversation. We're a conversation. Yeah, yeah, no question. Uh, but so let's come back to that at a future meeting and try to figure out if we can sort of think about what the calendar. Can I just say something? Sure, of course. I, I, I think we should twist that positively as an education thing about understanding and be very careful with you know this conversation could make really nervous a lot of our outstanding principals. So this is really you know how we frame this conversation. It's very important because I, I wouldn't want to see any of our principals jumping <laughs> with even the thought of this being differently. In, in, mm -hmm. So so I think where we, we, you know, Charlie presented to us the way that he presented us and we can flip it around as an educational moment of understanding first what a superintendent is. That's all I want to say. I don't want to get into the details, but it, as, a, as opposed to of, uh, of what I know that, or that we are even debating going that way. I think we really need to understand what it is. I, I think it's. I think it is a conversation about what kind of educational system we want to have and what kind of schools yeah. we want to mm -hmm. have. That's the that's the conversation. Yeah. Um, so you know, but people will frame it in different ways. Like and I'm not sure if we can possibly frame it in only one way. Like it'll it'll get framed. Well, but, but we can, like, you know, we, we could say that that could be a retreat this summer, you know, last summer we did something else. This summer our retreat is going to be, you know, that, even though we have the, you know, what, what I don't have all the words, but the, the retreat this summer should be <laughs> something like that. How it's not a bad idea. I mean, that should be a retreat. It's a great idea. We need, like, the world's best facilitator. <laughs> well, no, you know, what, what that, the way I would see that is you would really sit down. That would be an educational day yeah. where you really laid out what, uh, you know, that structure that we've got in, in a way that everybody understood. I mean, there's no question that, you know, there's a danger when you don't have, you know, you, there, there is a reason you got individual leaders. But you have unified command within emergency management where you don't have an individual leader. You've got a group management. And that works really well. That's the way you can use that internationally, certainly nationally, in big and small incident management. So it's there, you know. The, the yeah. question is, but it, but it, it takes co coordination because you, very good coordination and players that really understand how it works. So, yeah, I'm not saying that's an easy thing to do. It is. It's. I think it really, you know, it could be a great retreat. And I don't mean the debate about whether we do that or no. not, but it's about here's what our, our challenge is. This is what the needs are of this group, this educational group. How do we best, you know, how, how do we, what are possible approaches to doing that? And this is one, but are there alternatives? Could we do it better? My, I don't know what the answer to that is, but I wouldn't use it as a debate time, but it's so much as an educational time to look at the problem. There will be some debate. There would. 
But I'd just like yeah. to say one thing. I think in, in searching for superintendents, um, the questions we will be asking them and the questions they will be asking us will make us focus more on actually what a superintendent does, why, why we, we may come to that yeah. conclusion while we're doing this search of what the important part is. So I, I think this next couple of months will <coughs> get us on that path. That makes me think that you know, your concern about the, the implications of having the conversation on other employees, but does having the conversation limit the pool of people that would consider applying for to work for us? For sure. Yeah, sure. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Question. I, I think there's a lot of misunderstanding of what a job it is. It's really misunderstanding of what, you know, there's some rebellion, of course, but there's a lot of misunderstanding of what, what gets done or not gets done in the supervisor union. It, you know, there's, so we could gain a lot about just plainly stating what is done, you know, like just it, it's education, like people. I, I agree. So yeah. let's, let's, we'll come back to this at another. Not next week, I think. Um, but we have an opportunity to end our meeting half an hour early uh, if there's nothing else to discuss. So let's go ahead and uh, almost do that. I guess let me just check the uh, agenda real quick a second. Yes, there's nothing else on it. Um, so we have future agenda items. We have the time and plate and uh, date and time and place of our next meeting. And uh, so unless there's any objection. By consensus, we will adjourn at 7.03. Perfect.